Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our channel today. In South Africa, we still in lockdown period. So in this very special experience in our life, and also in the university, we still the the varsity they actually prolong the holiday. So we 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 still in holiday and the and also the lockdown period. So let's talk about something that's not academic or not very serious. In this video, we're going to discuss one topic regarding the COVID-19. And also, we actually, I want to discuss about can there's one question, Chinese medicine. It's, it's a very old medicine. We can all the medicine treat new diseases. This is an, this topic actually not from me. For hundreds of years, even for thousands of years, in China, the previous practitioners you can see from their books, their discussion, their debates, they always focus on some of them they always talk about can all medicine treat the new diseases when we start the the class last year in the first class i always i always start from the history from the history for chinese medicine we always started from ancient times ancient times means millions millions of years ago Although we don't focus on there, but at least we will focus. We will focus on. We will focus since two thousand five hundred years ago, when Huang Di Neijing, the four classics, were written. So, Chinese medicine is an old medicine. At least we will focus on the information for this recent 2500 years it's a very old medicine and this old medicine is is it effective for the new diseases for our modern human being when we started the last year from the first class in the first lecture i always i showed them the the kids Kids in the university, I showed them this one examples in two thousand two and two thousand three, which was which was about eighteen seventeen eighteen years ago. SARS, SARS is a was a pandemic globally seventeen or eighteen years ago. So I showed them the the videos. I showed them the data, the information. 18 years ago. Unfortunately, I, res I, I saw no response from the kids. Now I realize 18 years ago, they were still a baby. All these kids, all these kids in the first years in university. So 18 years ago is quite a long time. Or it's actually, it's an old period for them. For even for for us, when we, when our grandpas told us, told us something, we will say, "Oh, that's your your time. That's not my time." Same as here. Then when I discuss, when I told, discuss the the cases 18 years ago, the pandemic of SARS. They're not interesting because it's, it's just too long from now, 18 years. And what happens in 18 years ago was SARS, the pandemic in China and also globally, Chinese herbal medicine was used, was applied to clinics. And for, for that treatment, patients who accept the Chinese herbal medicine treatments have zero mortality rates. 
another patient was transferred to the other hospital for further treatments. No medical staff got infected and also no prognosis. So this is the old method. this is an old story. Now we got another case. We got another case that we are actually currently experiencing. This morning I checked on Google COVID-19 the status. Globally if the confirmed cases reach just more than 1.4 million. So that's actually a very big number. On the 23rd of March, there's one statistic there is 74,187 patients accepted Chinese herbal medicine treatment occupied 91.5% of the confirmed cases. And the effective effective rate with more than 90%. So actually in China, we got roughly more than 80,000 80, confirmed cases and more than 90% of them were applied with Chinese herbal medicine treatments and more than 90% of them recovered well. And when we look back the cases, when we look back to the prescription from the from the case, what kind of prescription we will use on the patient? What kind of prescriptions? What kind of treatments the the patient have accepted? The government have recommended one form of prescription. The prescription cons was consisted of three formulas. These three formulas were coming from Shanghai Zha Bin Lun. If you, you, if you are students at UJ, we have discussed the, the history. In the next few weeks, when we went on slides, are ready, we're going to, dis we're going to upload the, the discussion on the Chinese medicine history as well. So if you know the Chinese medicine history, if you know Sang Han Zha Bin Lun, the one of the four classics we discussed, it was, this book was written in, in 159 AD. 159 to 220 AD. So this is the author's period. So the formula was about 1,800 years ago. And also for pandemic, there's another theory of the wrong diseases. The wrong diseases is a bit different, a bit different from traditional way of thinking, where our pathogen is coming from the environment, coming from like the wind now. As you can see, the, the leaves, the trees, the branches uh, at the back of me is waving so you can feel there's that there's a wind so traditionally we traditionally we think that the pathogen with the wind the coldness or the, the heat but in services in late 16th century in late 16th century there's another doctor doctor Wu Youxing he realized that for pandemic, for epidemic diseases, the pathogen is not only from the climate changes, it might be something else. He called it Li Qi. Li Qi is a Chinese name, and he described the, the characteristic of Li Qi. Li Qi can, trans can be transmitted from one person to the other, can cause multiple infections now all the patients who got the, the same lichi the same pathogen we have similar symptoms which is it's very similar to the pandemic now 
So since we are experiencing the COVID-19, we have a, a deep, we will have a deeper and further understanding to what we have described in Chinese medicine. Although we use different words, we use different names, such as we use Li Qi instead of virus or COVID-19. We use different words to describe, but doesn't matter. It will affect the, our understanding towards the diseases. It's very similar. We Chinese medicine is an old medicine, so obviously the the name or the way the, the name of the diseases is also old, or the description is quite it's old style. But when we when you see the characteristics, it's the same. So it won't affect us. Don't be don't focus on or don't confuse on the names only because the name just a name the name if you want to know some somebody for instance in the varsity students students call me doctor who and at home my friends don't call me doctor who they call me another name but the doctor who and the other name all refers to me if you want to know me you don't know me from the title doctor who or for instance the the name of nick or alan the name doesn't matter if you want to know the person you know the person the, specifically the person themselves not from the name that's why when we study we don't focus on the name only such as now we call the viruses but in Chinese medicine we call it Li Qi doesn't make any sense if you choose you say the Li Qi you say the virus is Li Qi that's just the different names what's important here is we, we need to study the characteristics of this kinds of diseases then you will know how to treat them thank you for watching our video today for more information you can visit our website see you next time